I'm Kui Yong. I'm a hematologist at UCH, and I specialize in the treatment of patients with multiple myeloma. I'm here today with scientists and clinicians, all of whom work on our smoldering myeloma program. And we will each of us tell you a little bit more about our work that's been funded by Myeloma UK. I'm Lydia. I'm a hematology doctor who treats myeloma patients at UCLH. I also spend some of my time carrying out research on this cancer, particularly looking at how the immune system contributes to myeloma and how even we can manipulate the immune system to treat myeloma. My name is Cain. I'm a computational immunology PhD student uh, in the UCL Myeloma Research Group. My name is Louise. Um, I am a haematology trainee who works partly looking after patients in the hospital, particularly patients with smouldering myeloma, and partly in the research lab here at UCL. Hi, I'm Elise, and I'm a postdoctoral research scientist at UCL's Cancer Institute. Hi, my name is Saya, and I'm the trial coordinator for the COSMOS study, which is our study for the smouldering myeloma patients. Now, all patients with myeloma at one time had either MGUS or smoldering myeloma. And we are interested in studying how myeloma develops. So our focus is on smoldering myeloma. We were thrilled to be the successful applicants of the Myeloma UK Early Diagnosis funding call. And we are here to tell you about our work. Uh, this project is really looking at the immune response to myeloma and specifically the immune response to early myeloma. Now, one of our hypotheses is that perhaps there's a change in the immune system's ability to control or contain myeloma at an early stage. And it's the loss of this control that then results in patients progressing to having active disease. Um, this is really built on the foundation of trying to identify the specific part of the immune system that's able to control myeloma early on. And what this project is going to seek out to really characterize in detail uh, the biology of that subset of the immune system. This research is really important because unfortunately myeloma, active or symptomatic myeloma, is incurable and patients are often unwell when they are diagnosed with myeloma. If we can understand how to treat smouldering myeloma to delay or stop the progression to myeloma, then we can prevent the patients having to develop cancer. We want to understand why smouldering myeloma develops so we can do this and prevent this happening. And we increasingly understand that the immune cells are involved in the tumor development, which is why this project is important. Although this is a lab project, the ultimate aim is always to benefit myeloma patients by gaining a deep understanding into why patients with smoldering myeloma go on to develop frank myeloma cancer um, and why others do not. We hope to achieve two things. Firstly, to detect early and even predict which patients with smoldering myeloma go on to develop myeloma cancer and also figure out which patients do not and to hopefully do this with greater accuracy than has been possible before. Secondly, understanding how things happen allows opportunities to figure out how to stop them from happening. There aren't that many opportunities to intervene and prevent cancer from developing beforehand, but we believe in smoldering myeloma, we have one of those opportunities. We just really have to figure out how. And with this work, we hope we will have some of the understanding to be able to figure out how to do that. This project is particularly exciting as for the first time we have the potential to identify the specific T cell populations. These are immune cells that are able to recognize and kill tumor cells. And we're aiming to identify these populations that are specific for myeloma tumor cell killing. Using samples taken from the same patients enrolled into our COSMOS observational studies means that we can track these specific T cells over time. 
In particular, we are interested in whether we can identify these cells in the blood of patients, a feature that could be used as a future biomarker. Optimization of this technique could help establish a platform to identify tumor-specific immune cell populations in other cancers. None of this would be possible without the people who enroll into our COSMOS study. The COSMOS study is an observational prospective study for individuals with smouldering myeloma. It is open in several sites in the country. Our study has eight open sites with 60 participants and we're hoping to recruit more. And these, the samples from these participants will help us with looking to answer the question of what causes myeloma to develop. Thank you everyone for explaining our work. Myeloma UK is doing something so important by focusing on early diagnosis so that we can prevent myeloma happening. I'd like to finish by thanking Myeloma UK for having the vision and the foresight to fund work on early diagnosis in myeloma patients. We hope that with the results of our work, we can make a real difference to the outcome of our patients with smouldering myeloma and with myeloma with the help and funding from Myeloma UK. Thank you for listening.